Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So you got a computer case, it's got a USB-C port on it. You got a cable going down to the motherboard, which you thought had a USB type C. And it doesn't. Well, I've done a video on that, that you can have an adapter. But what if that adapter doesn't work? So I'm gonna show you a second way. So if that adapter doesn't work, this is another option depending on the motherboard. So here we go. Okay, so you got your motherboard and you're looking for your Type-C and you realize you don't have it. This is the adapter I said in a previous video to use. This is the Type-C port that you're hoping was on your motherboard, but it's not. So in that case, you could plug it in. Actually, I said before you could go here, but you can actually go here as well, all right? If it fits, this one doesn't. So here it is. That's what you gotta use it in. Okay, so it's going to go in there. But, what if you don't have that or you, you don't have a free slot for some reason? Well, I came across this on Amazon. And it's this little device here. And it has you got an adapter. So you can see that. And basically what that's going to do is this particular motherboard has two USB Type 3. We have one here. And we have another one right here all right let me just zoom in on that a little bit okay so you got one here one here so depends on which one you want to use you still look for that little tab all right line it up with the the tab that's here or here depends again on which one you want to use and all you have to do is line it up this one okay line that up and you're just going to push it in it might be a little bit so don't worry about it too much and then just kind of wiggle it to get it to go in okay so once it's in this little tab will line up and it'll stop it is out a little bit but that's to be expected now sometimes these when you buy them they're a little bit snugger than snugger tighter than they need to be so you may need to just kind of sand down or just use a knife and just cut it off a little bit it was too snug when i first put it in it wouldn't go in so I did that, and then the other one that will go in here now, and, or you can use that one there if you wanted to, and just push it down. All right, so there's an option, something you can do in the event that this one, okay, if that one doesn't work for you, maybe this one will. All right, very simple, plug it in. You'll still have a USB 3 for your case. You'll activate all your ports, and it will give you another... USB-C on the motherboard to activate the USB-C port if you have one on your case. If you don't have one, then you don't need this. Okay, so very simple. Buy that little adapter. Now, like I say, I had a little, uh, almost like a surgeon's knife, if you will, like a scalpel. But if you have something that you can just cut off, they, they've got these little plastic tabs on it. And that was preventing it from going in. Okay, so if you got one, I think what they do is they 3D print these and they use a little bit of extra plastic left off on them. So it came off very easy, didn't take any time at all. Took it off and then it went in properly. It's very snug. If you don't do that, you will have trouble getting it into that slot and you might even damage your motherboard. So make sure it goes in easily. Okay, should go in, shouldn't be any real problems. And then all you do is plug in your cable and your USB-C on your case will be activated. And that's all you need. So anyway, that's it for the video. If you like it, hit that like. If you're new here, think about subscribing. Hit that join if you want to join and support the channel. If you really like it because it helped you out, hit that thanks. And uh, most importantly, thank you for watching. There we go. Bye-bye.